integrated facility design is really um, adapted from um, a method that Toyota uses. It's called 3P, which is the production preparation process. They're thinking about um, the design of the product in tandem with the process that's going to be used to, to produce that product, the space that's going to be built to produce that product in. And so there's a real collaboration between the designers and the people who are going to produce the product. So we've taken that concept and applied it to our space design here at Children's. The mock-ups are uh, an incremental learning tool for the users. So they go through multiple cycles of design hypotheses and testing. We started out with um, linear bars of production, so it was sort of like passing food across counters. When they started looking at how do we make a small meal and a large meal, what do we do when we staff up or staff down, it was hard to get across the barriers. So we ended up making a U-shape, which made it easier to transport and move around the U. That was something that only can happen in mock-up. So we're bringing together architects, the contractors, the operational um, frontline staff. We're bringing together our change management folks, our simulation folks. So really this kind of cross-functional team that starts with the project and design and stays all the way through until we're operational and running in this space. We know the world's going to change, so we do try to build in flexibility. It's a very different mindset than current state, so that's going to be one thing we'll want to practice because all we're doing is we're flooding the U with more work, which actually makes the coordination harder. So what we want to do is, yeah, the information's still piling up, but let's manage how much inventory we have and work at any one time. So, we'll so that lean consultant is really important to bring the team through the process because this is really something that most operational leaders will only do once in their career. So having that expert to lead the leaders through is really important to keep us grounded. We also rely on our lean consultants to bring ideas from not only outside organizations in healthcare, but outside industries. This is a very different process than the traditional process and so um, the architectural design firm really needs to be bought into it. It's about pulling out the team's ideas and then translating it into drawings. So for us, one of our absolute key design principles was the food needs to flow uh, in one direction, from raw state to finished product, with no backflows, no cross-contamination. Any kind of transformation is really a cultural transformation as well as a technical transformation. It is really hard to imagine something different than you live and work every day. I had a whole pizza, so I felt that there was waste. I was using one piece of cheese pizza. What am I doing with the rest? Then I'm making a pepperoni. What do I do with the rest of that? Order up. For the kitchen, we, that group really didn't believe that it would work. And they didn't believe it would work for quite a while. And through the process of really developing the scenarios, and the scenarios were built around all their concerns and their worries. What do you think won't work in this space? Okay, great, let's create a scenario for that worry and let's test it in the cardboard space and see what happens. And if it doesn't work, then let's talk about how we mitigate it or how we change the design. You've got the frontline staff really designing to solve those everyday issues that they come up with that only someone who works on the ground floor in that process every day could say, having that table there is really going to be an issue. I know from a design perspective it doesn't look like it, but here's the flow and here's why that would be an issue. And not everybody can see space in one dimensional floor plan. And so even the users just looking at the floor plan in traditional design process may not understand how that table will get in the way of their flow. The transformation that we're bringing in with this uh, new design is expanding the ability to have a state-of-the-art milk lab. We will be able to offer just about every neonate an opportunity to have human milk, which we think is a huge win. The thing to remember about integrated facility design and really the way we're moving with any of our facility projects is that it's not just about the construction. 
So when you think about the project, it's about the space, the operations, and the IT coming together and creating an environment where the, the operations can um, function at their highest capability. We've designed waste out of the system because we're only producing what patients want. We can afford to hire cooks to do this work and staff to deliver the food. Really, it's a joint effort. It's our project as an organization and we're bringing in all the resources we need to to really achieve the breakthrough goals that leadership sets for us at the beginning of projects. It really allows us to design it in the taking out all those steps that don't add value and coming up with the, the product that is most important, which is truly meeting the clinical needs of the patients. In transitioning to the new space, there weren't any big surprises, and that's why we take the time that we take to simulate and test in the space. The biggest benefit of the design process is that we're designing the space as we're designing the ideal or the future process. So when you walk into that kitchen, you can see in physical form how the process is supposed to operate. And that really is a direct response to this idea that they wanted to have one piece flow and they wanted to be able to not cook in batches, to use fresh food. All of those pieces played into then where do we put things and how, how does the food really flow from the back of the kitchen all the way out the door to the patient and the family. Uh, yeah, I'd like to order some lunch. I think the kitchen is working exactly like we thought it would. They've been able to make a lot of improvements from an operational perspective, and that's really supported by the design of the space. So being able to move in and actually run their operation the way they planned has really helped meet the targets of the project. Some of the targets included reducing the amount of wasted food, really prepped on demand um, rather than creating big batches. That's reducing in the food waste from the production side. And then patients are getting to order what they want to eat rather than um, only having a few options. Once they get it, the food is delicious. So they're eating it, which is great, exactly what we want.